Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. In the last video we started looking at cell division by mitosis and if you haven't watched that video then you need to watch it now. We saw that cell division has two main stages. These are called interphase and the mitotic or M phase. Remember that during interphase each chromosome is copied to form two sister chromatids and the sister chromatids remain joined at the centromere. However you need to remember that during interphase the chromosomes are not visible as distinct structures in the nucleus of the cell. I'm showing you here a cell which has just finished interphase and is about to enter mitosis. So let's take a look at the stages of mitosis. There are four stages in mitosis. These are called prophase, metaphase, anaphase and telophase. I'd recommend that you watch the whole process all the way through. Then you need to learn the details for each of the stages. The first stage is called prophase. During prophase the chromosomes condense and become visible in the nucleus. We can see that each chromosome consists of two sister chromatids joined at the centromere. The nucleolus disappears and the nuclear membrane starts to break down. A pair of centrioles move to either side or pole of the cell. Proteins begin to form spindle fibres which attach to the centromere of each chromosome and these spindle fibres start to move the chromosomes towards the centre of the cell. OK, now the second stage of mitosis is called metaphase. At metaphase, the spindle apparatus has completely formed and the chromosomes are lined up at the centre or equator of the cell. Now we reach the third stage of mitosis, which is called anaphase. In anaphase, the centromeres divide into two and the spindle fibres begin to shorten and this pulls the sister chromatids towards opposite poles of the cell like this. OK, now the fourth stage of mitosis is called telophase. In telophase, the chromatids have reached the poles of the cell and scientists now refer to them as chromosomes again. Now the spindle apparatus breaks down and the nuclear membranes reform. The chromosomes uncoil back to their chromatin state and the nucleolus also reappears in each nucleus. At this point, the cell has now finished nuclear division by mitosis and start cytokinesis. During cytokinesis, the central cell membrane is pulled inwards by the cytoskeleton. This creates a groove or furrow which gradually deepens and eventually the membranes fuse to form two independent cells. At this stage, cell division by mitosis is finished. OK, now I've shown you this process for an animal cell. In plant cells, the process is different in a couple of key ways. Firstly, centrioles do not play a role in forming the spindle apparatus in plant cells, and that's because plant cells do not contain centrioles. Secondly, when plant cells undergo cytokinesis, the cell membrane cannot form a furrow as in animal cells. Instead, vesicles from the Golgi apparatus form membrane structures down the center of the cell. These then fuse together to form a central cell membrane dividing the cytoplasm into two. A new cellulose cell wall also forms down the center. Okay, so hopefully now you can describe the stages of cell division by mitosis. Mm -hmm.